Hello guys, in this lesson, we want to add the tags bar to the project and make it like this. So after finishing this lesson, you have this beautiful tags bar where you click on each of them. It will show all the foods with that specific tag. So let's do it. In this lesson, we have two main steps. The first step is showing the tags. And the second step is showing the foods filtered by the selected tag. We are going to start from the first step, that is showing the tags. First of all, we need to add the sample tags to the data.js. Let's go to the code. Here inside the frontend src folder, click on the data.js. Scroll to the bottom of the file, then write the sample tags here. You can find this code from the comment link in the description below. As you can see, we have only the name of the tag and how many foods have this specific tag. Very simple. Okay, we did it. We just added the sample tags to the data.js. It is the time for using these sample tags inside the food service by using the get all tags function. Let's do that. Close the data.js and from the services, select food service. Then here at the bottom, write export const get all tags equal to async arrow function and we just return sample tags as simple as this exactly like the get all but or sample tags here we go we created the function it is the time for creating the tags component for showing the tags so go to the code close the food service for now and right click on the components, select new folder, then give it the name of tags. Right click on it, new file, tags.js, and right click on it again, tags.module.css. Open the tags.js, write RFC and press enter for creating a functional component. Then import classes from dot slash tags.module.css so we're going to import our css modules inside the classes just like other components here we go now i want to use this tags component inside my home page so open the pages folder inside the home folder click on home page then at the bottom of the search write tags make sure it will be imported from the components folder and press enter and close the tag now, if you go to the browser, we'll see the tags here, so we can start working on it. Let's go to the tags.js. As the input of this component, I want to add a tags and another property with the name of for food page. This is the tags that we pass from the home page to the tags component. And we have a Boolean here with the name of for food page because we want to use these tags inside the food page too. And I'll show you how. But for now, we just want to show it inside the home page. So let's work on its template. Set its class name to classes container remove these tags give it an inline style put two curly braces inside each other because we want to pass an object to this style and I justify content and check if the four foot page is not null or undefined then the justify content should be start otherwise it should be centered for the food page, we want to show the tags inside the left side of the screen. So if this is true, the justify content will be start. Otherwise, it will be center. For the home page, we want it to be shown on the center. Now inside this div, we want to show all the tags. So inside the curly braces, we write tags.map. Every single tag will be converted into a link from the React Router DOM. That its key is equal to tag.name that goes to the slash tag slash tag.name and its text should be tag.name and if the for food page is null or undefined then show a parenthesis and inside it show tag.count because inside the food page, we don't want to show the count of the tags. We just want to show the tag name because it doesn't make sense. You are inside the food. You just want to see its tags and that's it. But this is based on my preference. You can show the count of the tags in every single page you want by removing this part. Okay, we just created a component and a template for the tags, but we don't have any tags yet. And that's what we want to do on the next lesson. That is using tags component inside the homepage. Let's go to the homepage. 
and here inside the use effect we want to load all the tags here at the first line of the use effect right get all tags from the food service call it and call then and get all the tags and dispatch another event with the type of tags loaded with the payload of tags that is coming from the food service as you can see we don't have any action implemented for the tags loaded inside the reducer let's do it just duplicate the food loaded and give it the name of tags loaded and here instead of the foods write tags we also need to give it an initial value so here inside the initial state put a comma after the foods and write tags equal to an empty array too then we can scroll down here at the state the structuring we can put a comma and write tags for getting the tags from the state now we can scroll down here at the tax component we can pass the tax prop that is equal to the tags from the home page now if we go to the browser we can see all the tags with their count of foods but it's not beautiful right let's go work on the css here open the tags.module.css it's very small just need to start with the container that is display to flex and it's flex wrap to wrap so it wraps if there is not enough room on the screen and for all the a tags inside the container set their background color to hashtag f0 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 set their padding to 0.3 ram and one ram from left and right their margin would be 0.2 ram from top and bottom and 0.15 ram from left and right their border radius a big number 10 rem is enough make them completely rounded set their font weight to 600 a little bit bolder and color to blue just the normal blue let's check them out inside the browser oh it's not on the middle let's check the code oh it should be container okay sorry as you can see we have our beautiful tags on the middle now when we click on them the address on the top changes to the slash tag slash the tag name it means it is a time for showing the foods based on specific tag here first of all we need to add the tag route to the app routes let's do that let's get back close the tags css and tags js go to the explorer and open the app routes.js here copy the search route and paste it at the bottom let's change the search to tag and the route parameter to colon tag so we can get tag using the tag param here we go we just added the routes now we need to add another function to the food service for getting all the foods based on the tag let's do that from the explorer and the food service right export const get all by tag an async function that gets the tag as input and checks if the tag is equal to all then it returns get all function that makes sense when we select the all tag we want all the food so we just return this get all function otherwise we return sample foods filter and every single item the tags if available should include this tag input parameter of the get all by tag function so here the foods will be filtered by the tag here we go we just added the function to the food service now is the time for using the params and get all function inside the home page or filtering the foods let's go to the code here inside the home page first of all we need to get the tag route parameter this one inside here then here before the search term i want to write if the tag is available then call get all by tag from the food service and pass the tag to it otherwise the rest will be the same 
the search term is available do the search otherwise just show all the foods and once again it will be set to the load foods and the behavior is exactly the same but we also need this tag to the dependency list so put a comma here and add the tag so now if we go to the browser since we were on the tag slash slow food it's showing the foods with the tag of slow food now if we click on the fast food on pizza on lunch on hamburger and all the other tags we'll see their foods and if we click on the all tag see all the foods here we go this was for this lesson on the next lesson we are going to implement the food page so whenever you click on a food you'll see it in a separate page you've been watching code with nasir and i hope to see you next time